Nobody talks about this interceptor in War Thunder, the XP-38G. The P-38 Lightning seems to be a little bit overshadowed by the P-51 and the P-47 in War Thunder, despite it being one of the best aircraft at its tier. At battle rating 3.3 with a top speed of over 420 mile an hour, it's not to be underestimated. Uh, oh! <laughs> Subscribe for more and enjoy. Okay, first match of the day is Smolensk. And uh, I feel like I'm seeing this map really regularly at low tier. 400 meter gun convergence, perfect. No vertical targeting because we have... All the guns in the nose, ground targets, possibly not got the most HG. Okay, we'll keep it universal. Let's go. Oh, nice big match to start with. Very, very nice. I love having these full matches. It's fantastic. So I actually didn't know this, but the XP38 has been removed from the game. Um, I had no idea. I thought, I thought it was still there, but no, apparently it's been replaced with the YP38, which is... I'm guessing a, a very, very early experimental model with a 37mm instead of the 20. Apparently it's not as good, so I'm kind of happy because the XP38 is basically a P38G. The fact it gets an interceptor spawn as well is just absolutely brilliant. I'm so happy about that. Right, we've got at least one contact up high. I'm going to guess that he is... Oh, wow. Okay, we've got quite a big um, enemy team. Interesting. Okay. P-38 is such an underrated aircraft in War Thunder. I feel like the P-51 gets the, the, the light most of the time along with the P-47, but the P-38, honestly, it's so, so good. Absolutely fantastic uh, climb rate. You've got pretty decent turn time as well with just over 20 seconds. All the guns in the nose, interceptor air spawn. I think, what is this, a 420 mile an hour aircraft at 3.3? 410 mile an hour aircraft at 3.3. It's It's bloody good. Right, let's head over in this direction because at the moment we're probably best suited as a bomber interceptor at the altitude that we're at. P-51's probably going to go for that year two up front. I'll keep an eye on the one to the rear. Although the bv 238 is probably also a really good target to choose for here because he's going to take an absolute age to get to otherwise. Although the XP-30... Uh, or the XP-50's up here, so maybe we don't need to focus too much on these guys. Tell you what. Let's roll down on this year two. We'll do one pass and one pass only. And then we'll try and do a zoom climb to the BV. Right. I'm going to say about that. Okay. And then we'll do a zoom climb to the BV. We'll aim for the wings. About there. And that'll do. I think that's it for now. We'll at least get two assists on those, which is good. I-185 up high. That's fine. Let's get some more altitude. Kill assist on the year two. Nice. BV's going to go down soon. Contact down low. That's probably going to be a really good target. Good stuff. BV's down. Key 61. Uh, I-185 might be heading in towards us. Not sure yet. J-26 might be heading in towards us. Not sure yet. Hey, look. It's a Moziquito. <laughs> right, start turning in. Looks like the... Uh, the the I-185 might be going for us. Is he going to zoom climb? That's the question. Yes, he is. Okay, he's hit. Good. Key 61. That was a really weird engagement on my part. <laughs> really weird. Okay, I'm going to pull off this way. Use speed and power. Fantastic. I-185 destroyed. Let's loop back around. This thing's so quick. I didn't realize when I was on that Key 616, I was doing over 400 miles an hour. I was like, why can't I turn? I wonder why. You, you cannot outrun me, brother. <laughs> About there. Oh, good hit. Let's go this way. All right. Let's roll over. I think the combat flaps actually last quite a while as well. Uh, sorry, in, this, in the sense that they can take a lot of airspeed before ripping. Oh, I cannot get that nose on target. There's a guy down low. I'll go for him. A6 M2 is probably going to have a better time with the Key 61 than I am. Oh, lots of targets randomly just popped up. Nice. Nearly 500 mile an hour at 3.3. That's crazy. Oh. 
Okay, and loot back around. God, this thing's good. Oh! <laughs> and over we go. Yes. Although we are on his six and his gunners can probably snipe us, but... Uh. Oh! absolutely no water whatsoever so we've got to very very quickly gain some altitude, <laughs> altitude to convert into energy because we got nothing now <laughs> it's all right actually the uh <laughs> the airfield isn't too far away. <laughs> i can't believe he just exploded like that that's crazy oh look so the explosion must have literally yeah it completely boiled all of my water that's mad all right landing time let's start shedding some speed there we go see at lower speeds this thing turns really really nicely look at that even with some combat flaps look at that it's not bad perfect this should be an absolutely textbook landing and i'm gonna restart my engines just in case and three two one touchdown oh and look at that a little bit of flare as well <laughs> p51's coming in for a very very cool cinematic landing go on lad bounce whoa <laughs> not quite what i meant but all right that's fine <laughs> k61's in trouble now <laughs> xp50's moving in on them as well okay key 61 is down J26, I mean, it's a it's a Mustang D, I'm pretty sure, J26. So this will be an interesting fight. Although he's lost his energy now, so now he's in trouble. He got the kill, though. Fair play. Five kills on that guy so far. I mean, he's got three aircraft. If you count, four if you count me on him now. So I'm assuming this is probably going to be the end for him. But a five kill game for that guy, that's not bad going at all. Imagine, if he gets a sixth, I'll be very, very impressed. Well, I think that's going to be the end for him now. Yeah, there we go. I think he's lost his tail or his wing. Very well played by the J26 pilot. I've got to say, absolutely fantastic stuff from him. Very, very impressed. Five kills for him. Three for us. First game. Very impressive. Operation Berlin. Okay. Can we have some nice weather? It's decent weather. It's not amazing weather, but it's okay weather. I might... Nah, I'm tempted to go longer on the convergence so we can head on people. No, okay, gonna be sensible. Right, let's get some altitude. Bro just used his email. <laughs> That's his username. What's going on? I seem to be struggling a little bit with getting uh, guns on target at the moment, but to be fair, I've not flown the P-38 in a, in a very, very long time. So hopefully by the end of this match maybe game three i'll have it i'll have it now down again also if you haven't already i've got a brand new discord for you guys so feel free to check it out in the link in the description and probably in the pinned comment post as well you're more than welcome to join literally brand new there's i don't know about 50 people in there so far so feel free to come along jump in and say hello uh, is it the pe2 that has 20 mils no it's a tu2 isn't it i think this still has 12.7 so it's nothing to be trifled with there we go. <laughs> Jesus, that took nothing. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, LA5s. I hate LA5s. I think everyone hates LA5s. Oh, but oh, down low. Mm. <laughs> okay, we've got the FW190. Cool. I'm going to try and work from back to front. So the rearmost targets first. Because that gives uh, the team a chance to engage them and make them bleed their energy rather than me picking on this guy and then having to deal with the LA-7 and the 190 and so on and so forth. Probably I'm going to go for that 109 that's down there because he's on his own. He hasn't spotted me yet, I don't think. About there. Yeah, cool. Target destroyed. Up we go. It's going to be these guys next. 
Let's see what the P63 does. Right, so P63 is engaged. What's their plan going to be? Are they going to pull up for him? Yes, is the answer to that. So we can then get you. Right, your severe damage. Then LA5. I mean, you got no elevator, but still. P63, I think, is going to go for the LA. Yeah, he is. So 190 is going down. I think the LA is done for. Yep, well done. Good stuff. We've got two targets up high. We're going to have to consider how the guy's down low doing. He's okay. Yak 9's down there. Key 61. I think P63 is going to help this guy over here. So I might quickly jump on him. Although it depends which one's going to present themselves as the better target. This Yak 9 at the moment. He's dead. Let's get some distance between these guys. Yeah, 109 is going to be the hardest out of the lot of them, I think, to, to deal with. Let's... We're probably at the altitude now that the 109 might intercept us, but we're high enough that we can do something about the 190. It entirely depends whether EA is going down on... Oh, and the 109 is going down on them. Okay. This has just changed a bit then. Okay, the P63, I don't know if I'm going to be able to save, but he may have just set me up. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Average German main moment. <laughs> All right. Let's get revenge for this P63. That Q61 is going to burn up. I'm not worried about him. Okay. And there's Yak-9 on their airfield. Good stuff. Victory roll over him. <laughs> Such a flex. Right, come on. Oh, this thing turns so nicely at speed. This just doesn't have a very good rudder, that's all. I have no sympathy for you. You're in a Yak-9. Absolutely no sympathy. There we go. Good stuff. What a fantastic second game. Five kills. Not bad going at all. This thing. Honestly, if you haven't played the P38s, play them. They are so good for their BR. Like, outrageously good. Okay. Berlin again. Which is, uh... Hopefully we can, re <laughs> we can repeat that last match. Look at that big cloud. Isn't it like Coolio Nimbus or something like that? Nimbus? That's what they're called. In all fairness, these are quite old models as well now. I mean, I don't think these have changed at, well, at all since they were introduced, what, very, very early on. Because these would have been Isle 2 Stimovic Birds of Prey, these models, I think. Okay, good news. We're above pretty much all of the fighters right now, which is absolutely brilliant. DB7 is doing DB7 things. Again, I think at the moment the plan is to work our way from the back of the pack forward because that definitely... Uh, we've got the altitude advantage. It's not like we're being forced into a dogfight. So if we can single them out that way, I mean, this this 2000 is looking tasty at the moment. Question is, are you going to try and zoom climb for me? That'd be sick if you did. Please do. Please zoom climb for me. Please do it. Please do it. Ah, oh, you're boring. Okay, no hit. Yak one's next. Whoop. Ow! Where's my flap gone? All right, that's fine. We'll use combat flaps to turn. Ah, oh, that's annoying. We're going to have to head back to base earlier than I wanted. That sucks. Okay. Right. We're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. In fairness, if we do get into a dogfight, we've got the combat flaps, so we should be able to at least do something. We're going to have to try and find a balance between throttle and pitch. 
because obviously we've got no way of controlling that rear elevator right now. Outside the flaps. So we're 300 mile an hour. It's not good. Uh, that's a little more likely. Okay. And then landing. Oh! Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me... Give me, 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 give me. Have I done it? <laughs> Have I done it? Yes! Very honorable. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> no kill for you, Mr. Yak. <laughs> Let's go. We're back. There's a burning wreck, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> what is that B-34 doing? <laughs> Man, it's going on a journey. They're going to be distracted. So we're going to go this way to get some altitude. All right, so we've got at least four enemy fighters on the enemy team. So we still might be able to do well this match, in fairness. Mm, I wonder if he sees me. Oh, he definitely sees me. Yeah, he's coming for me. Oh, it's raining down there. That's cool. Good thing is, I've also dragged him away from our airfield, so these guys actually have a chance to, uh, to rearm. Right, exiting cloud layer. Let's start heading back into the battlefield. Let's cool those engines right down. So good news, we now have altitude advantage. I think the only thing we won't have altitude advantage over is that RE-2000. Yeah, F2A is going in, I assume. A36 is down. Right, I'm going to be one of the last fighters left. So, how do we want to play this? Because I'm not going to drag them over to my airfield. That's a crappy move. Um, B-34s. The RE is this guy up here. I don't know if you can see him. Yep, there you go. Probably work on him first. Is he still going? Holy moly. Come on, camera. Thank you. All right. Up we go. That was a bit of a silly move on my part. Wait, what? No way you have that energy! No shot! Come on, camera. What? Guns! Thank you. Good hits. All right, that's two down. Two down. Good stuff. That yak's going to be a problem. P39K. Probably the best thing. Not the best thing to heads on, but it is what it is. Yak 3's next. Or Yak 7. And up we go. These are there. Okay. Cloud layer, I reckon. Is that there? Oh, that's their main airfield. Right, let's move in this way. Six minutes of worth of fuel, six minutes of combat time. Okay, P39K. Lag three down low. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> it, was a, it was a bad go. That was a really weird match. Mozdog 1943. Yes, good. Cool my engines down, please. Okay, climbing. Altitude and speed definitely is this thing's uh, this thing's life insurance. I mean, that last match was a bit weird in the sense of that we got taken out or critically damaged very, very early on. So <laughs> we're sort of all out of position. But it, all things considered, getting those two kills, I'm quite happy with that. I think I just wish that uh, we had a little bit more time. I think if we had the six minutes but not the ticket counters going down, we could have done more there. But um, it, it is what it is. It was a well-earned victory for them guys anyway does show you the value of using cloud cover though the fact that i was able to evade those guys was you know shows that clouds do have a use what's down below us il2 gotcha oh typhoon oh nasty i hope that's a mark 1a not a mark 2b or a mark 2b no mark 1b there we go got there in the end uh that's concerning as well i29 don't think the db3 gets front cannons does it yeah it gets those but Okay. Right, I know you get 20 mils. No. 
Yeah, cool. Evaded Typhoon next. Oh, criticaled. Spitfire. Severe damage. I-16. Hits, but no cigar. Oh, he's lost a wing. Hell yeah, brother. Right. I-29. Let's go. Run away. We should... We should be able to outrun the I-29. I'm pretty sure. Or not. Okay. We should be able to turn better than the I-29. Yes, we can do that. I got that I-16 on my arse, though. Gotta be careful of. Yeah. Let's dive away again. Yeah, I-29 can't catch up now. Cool. Lovely. Let's go help these guys out down here. You catching up to me? You are freaking hell. Good, Buffalo. <laughs> if anything, I've accidentally just baited that F6F. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. He's not on me anymore. That's good. Come here, boy. I'm not going to take this Buffalo's kill. I just want to get some points. There we go. Oh, shit. I might have just taken it from him with the severe damage. Uh, No, he did get... I'm not sure what happened there, actually. I don't know if he got the kill or not. Where's that other guy go? Oh, he's over there. Nice! Hell yeah! That was good! And the Typhoon's down. Look at that! All right, let's take out some of these targets, shall we? Yeah, I definitely need to up the convergence to 500 meters, I think. Uh, armored car. Okay, didn't do anything. Oh, trees. Ooh, Spitfire. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice hang. Oh, that was very nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, he's a Mark One. He's out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. P38 or XP38, but P38 for the win. What a plane. I love it so much. Five kills. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Until next time, take care.